Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today, from Russia with graphite, we are going to look at an assortment of Soviet era Russian pencils. Uh, thank you to my pencil pal Dave who sent me this fun assortment of Russian pencils. And basically we have uh, two uh, different manufacturers here of pencils uh, from what I can determine. And uh, if anybody has any additional information about these pencils, please leave them in the comments. Uh, these are just so interesting to me. Uh, so here's what we've got. Um, let me start with these two here. These two are um, Steclograph pencils. And these are essentially a grease pencil. So very soft core. And these are intended for like writing on glass or some sort of glazed surface. I'm sure they could have other applications too for artwork. Uh, one is red and this one looks blue to me. And then here we have standard writing pencils. Um, this one I believe translates as hockey. And this one translates as Slava something, uh, Slava Trudu, perhaps. Um, I could be wrong. Please correct me if I am. On these, on these standard graphite pencils here, the hockey is round and the Slava is hex. And you can see, we'll come in a little bit here, um, a fairly thin core uh, in both pencil, I would say, and neither have erasers uh, or caps or anything on the end. But let's take a closer look here. So I believe this symbol here uh, is the manufacturer. Uh, and then here you have a series of, of symbols, letters, numbers. Um, Dave tells me that these are graded as 2B. He thinks they're more of an HB, so we'll try it. And apparently this number here indicates the year in which the pencil was manufactured. So here this would be 1990 and here the hockey which is round um, would be 1983. So uh, you can see it has the same symbol as the other pencil. So I'm just, I'm going to make an assumption that these were made in the same factory uh, seven years apart. The paint on them is not great um, at all. Now, I don't know. These are old pencils. They may have been banged around a little bit over the years. And from making their way from Russia to here, they've certainly been shipped plenty of times. Um, but... A really interesting piece of of history, uh, and I would love to know more. Uh, if anybody again can share. Now here, the Steclograph pencils. Let's take a look here. Also, you know, not not a great uh, paint job on the pencils. Uh, we see that they do also have an in, a number indicated here of 87, so perhaps uh, these were made then in 87. They've already been sharpened. Uh, let's take a look. Now, the, again, these are 
uh, grease pencils, so we would expect a fairly wide core, which these have. Um, and we'll do some writing with these. Uh, I don't have a piece of glass, but we'll try it on paper. Um, but an interesting thing about the company here, uh, these were made in a factory, the, the, it's either Sacco or Sacho and Vansetti factory. Uh, but the interesting tidbit about that factory is that that factory was founded in the early part of the 20th century by an American, an American industrialist. His name was Armand Hammer, and he started this pencil factory in Russia, and then in the 1920s he sold out and the factory was nationalized, and it was renamed Sacco or Sacho and Vansetti. Now Sacho and Vansetti were two immigrants to the United States who were socialists and apparently they were involved in a robbery of a bakery and they were caught and they were executed for their participation in that crime uh, which simply did not um, really seem to warrant capital punishment. I don't know the details of the case, but they were executed for their participation in the robbery. And uh, there were some sympathies for these two guys, felt that they were unjustly punished, and they were sort of made into almost martyrs. And a number of things were named for them, including this pencil factory outside of Moscow. So what an interesting story that is. Um, so here we go. So these are sharpened. We're going to try the, we're going to do a little writing with the Stecklegraph, and then I'm going to sharpen up both of these uh, standard graphite pencils, and we'll write with those and see how they do. We're taking a trip back in time behind the Iron Curtain to Soviet era Russia. USSR with these pencils. Okay, I'm going to start with our uh, Stecklegraph grease pencils here from Russia, 1987. And let's, I got the red one here, so let's just see. Oh my, yeah. These really are grease pencils. Very, you can C. Let me see if I can. Leaves little crumbs, but I mean, it's this is even softer than, say, a, a standard crayon that we would expect. Oh, it's it's black. I thought this was blue. Well, I would say that this is, um, these are pencils that are intended to write on glass. I'm going to, the light hand. Mm -hmm. So, Probably fairly limited application here. They're certainly bold. Um, but yeah, really interesting. I guess these could be used in artwork as well, uh, perhaps. So, good. All right, so now let me, um, let me get to the other pencils here. And I'm going to try to get one sort of sharpened up. Let's see. Um, 
Let's start with this one, which is the the hockey. Let's see how it. Not sure what kind of wood this is. It doesn't look to be cedar, but we're getting a nice ribbon here of wood in the Apsara sharpener. There we go. Let's try this. Yeah, it doesn't, I wouldn't say this is a particularly soft pencil. Um, it's a little waxy, honestly. It's smooth, fairly quiet perhaps, uh, but I would say it's not particularly dark, as you can see. Feels like an HB, you know, um, maybe even an F, a two, or a two and a half. Probably closer to a two HB. Let's uh, put a little bit down here. And you can, let me come in a little bit here, maybe you can see fairly ample smudge drag on this pencil. Um, of course, again, does not have an eraser. So let's see how it, it erases. We'll try a variety, standard variety here, Mars, Milan. It's racing pretty well, I would say, overall. Foam. Pink carnation. Uh, what else do we have? What a Pentel. I wonder, I wish I had a Russian eraser try with um, hard move but I would say overall actually it erases pretty well pretty well I will give this a B plus um, Maybe even an A minus in erasing. Yeah. So that's the hockey. Now, let's sharpen up the Slava. And I, I don't know, perhaps somebody watching is um, versed in the Russian alphabet, which I'm not. So again, we, we think this is from, this pencil would be from 1990, 30 years ago already. It's hard to believe 1990 was 30 years ago. Wow. I, but, okay. 31 years ago. Yeah, I, this is definitely not cedar. 
and uh, the wood is a little shaggy. Uh, I wouldn't say it's really sharpening well. Look at that. See that? Yeah. Maybe I maybe I should use an electric sharpener instead. Maybe I'd have better luck. Yeah, the lead broke. Okay, let's try. There we go. Boy. Well, really an uneven sharpened here. Let's see if I can get a little bit more of that wood off. God, that lit. The core keeps breaking. I may not be able to test this. I hope so. I can hear it. Boy. Okay, well. Um, I really want to test this core. All right, let me figure something out. But the, the core just keeps coming apart in pieces. So, so far, this one's not doing too well. But we'll see if we can get we can get some of that core exposed I can so write with it. So I ended up hand sharpening this pencil because I could not sharpen it by any other means in which the core would not break. So I just sharpened it with a blade. Now I will say, I think you can probably see that this core is much darker. Now this feels really like a, um, a B to me, or even a, a B, a 2B. But still a little, even though it's soft, still a little waxy. Okay. It's it's even it, it's smooth. It's not an it's not a scratchy pencil. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Smudge City. So, you know, there's a smudge drag. Um, but again, it's a softer core pencil, so we come to, ex we would actually, it would be weird if there wasn't, you know, a, uh, a notable smudge. Let's see how it erases. Well, okay, that's a Pentel. Break out the superstar erasers here that usually do. This does, the Mars does a little bit better. Or is that Japanese foam eraser? Let's try that. Okay. Uh huh. Not a Raj. Um, where's the art gum? Okay. Uh, what else we got? Pink carnation. Mm -hmm. uh, magic rub. Well, I think it doesn't erase, of course it's a softer core, it doesn't erase as well as the other one. All 
All right. So, um, unfortunately, this the one I really like writing with the best, which is this one, is a real pain to sharpen because of that core being so fragile and and almost the wood almost uh, yeah I don't know how they put this thing together um, or what kind of wood they used but really not not a quality wood the wood on this one is much better uh, on the round one and then we have our our grease pencils so grease is the word there so anyways um some soviet era pencils not none of them really well these two aren't really intended for writing per se on paper so we won't <clears throat> we won't hold that against them but these two um there, there's issues with both of them but uh what's great about them is just the wonderful history and the idea, uh, especially here in the U.S., where you know we have always just had pencils that really were were great that were made here in the United States and that we were accustomed to, especially in this era, uh, and to try some uh, an everyday thing, uh, everyday item from Russia and compare. And I have to say um, that that these pencils were not overly impressive in terms of writing, but what a great opportunity just to try them. So thank you, Dave, so much uh, for these. And uh, thank you for spending time as we looked at these Russian pencils. Uh, if you like what I do, please share, like, subscribe. I'll see you again real soon right here on Always Analog.